Hi, this is Brandon Slade from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the single leg lateral hurdle hop to lateral bound. This is a great lateral exercise for athletes being able to press off the outside foot, change direction, and really be able to get some triple extension outside of just the sagittal plane. So we'll be working the frontal plane here. And I really like this. Once your athletes have learned how to lateral bound, and why I think lateral bounding is a fantastic exercise, it should be in almost every training program for athletes that have to move side to side in any kind of fashion in their sport. Some kids just can't get the lateral bound down and that's okay. So you definitely would not want to do this. If they cannot master the lateral bound, this is definitely a progression from that exercise. But once your kid can master the lateral bound, I think this is a fantastic exercise to teach your athletes how to be able to hit the ground and either change direction or implement that foot strike and be able to go again. So every time we might be in athletics, everything is just not moving just side to side. We might be going to do something and immediately have to go again or reverse or change direction. And so what I like about this is that after we jump over the hurdle, which is just a very simple single leg plyometric, uh, most kids probably eventually get to this when they're in high school relatively simply, um, especially if they're athletes. But once we do that, we want to, be able to apply maximum force and be able to hit that lateral bound afterwards. So I just have a six inch hurdle here, and for most athletes, this is all you really need. You know, you can use a 12 inch or a nine inch hurdle and, and certainly it teaches the athlete to jump a little higher and then be able to apply more force. But really what we're looking for is that decreased uh, ground contact time. So we want to just be able to hit and go. And so a six inch jump is nice because we have to apply a little, bit of, a little bit of lateral movement to be able to act like we're gonna change direction or go somewhere, but then we're gonna reapply it into the ground and then hit our lateral bound. So stand on the outside of a hurdle, like I said, I got a six, six inch one here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna perform a regular single leg hurdle hop. So I'm gonna jump over the hurdle. Once I hit the ground, I'm gonna open up and hit my lateral bound as hard as I can. So I'm gonna be here. I come back, move. So we're really trying to change direction, jump over, stick and go. We do not wanna spend much time on this side of the hurdle. So as you can see, when in slow motion, after I jump, when I land here, I'm already thinking about applying pressure to being able to get out to my other side. So one more time, jump. You'll see when I hit it, I'm then gonna go. Jump, stick, go. So obviously you gotta do both sides. So keep that in mind when you're working with your athletes. And obviously you've got two ground contacts here just on the right foot. Um, I'm sorry, you ground contacts in total, one on the right, one on the left. Um, so just keep that in mind whenever you're, you're calculating your foot strikes, that's something you keep track of. I personally like doing about three to six sets per side. We start off lower on the volume on this, and then we crank it up over the course of the month. I think three to four repetitions starting off on per leg is good. So three sets of three to four reps per side, switch sides. And then start cranking up your sets, keeping the reps around the same. I'd say the most that we usually do for most of our kids is about five or six reps per side um, and upwards to four to five sets per side. So keep in mind where your kids are with their, their season and their own training. Obviously, if they're in season, you're going to keep your volume down. If they're out of season, you're probably going to crank it a little bit more. Um, but this is definitely one of my favorite single leg variations, especially when it comes to bounding. Um, we've had really, really good success with this and getting kids to be able to understand what it's like to apply force into the ground um, after they've you know, basically jumped and hit the ground. So uh, there's uh, plenty of different options, available, but like I said, this is definitely my personal favorite. So if you have any questions, put it in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.